And now, smile, smile okay? with the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. I'm Oscar. And I'm Dan. And I'm Tiffany. And today we're in... Azerbaijan! <laughs> Previously on Oscar and Dan. That's is definitely not an official taxi. Can you speak yourself? Do you speak English? No. Top of the morning to ya from Baku. Hello from Azer Azerbaijan. Azer Baku. Thank you to Azad Ben Azad to Baku. So we are about to explore the beautiful city of Baku. It's a amazing day outside not a cloud in the sky i've marked so many things on google maps that we should see so uh let's set out to explore the city If you're new here, we're Oscar and Dan, two boys from Sweden currently trying to visit 100 countries before the end of this year. Today we're in country 91 of Azerbaijan, exploring the capital of Baku, which some people are calling the next Dubai. So first impressions of Baku after just like one hour, barely, like 40 minutes of walking around, is that one, it looks so much more European than I was expecting, and especially in comparison to what we've seen the first two days, this is like worlds away from that. And secondly, it's a very green city. There are trees like literally everywhere lining pretty much every street so that's really nice about to enter Old Town. This entrance gate is incredible, so we can't wait to see what's inside of this gate. It's quite obvious that everything in this Old Town has been restored because it's like very glitzy, glamoury, shiny and new. So it's nice. It's nice to walk around, but it's definitely not like you don't get that like old, preserved Old Town Feel, you know? It reminds me a little bit, I've been thinking this whole time, of the part of Beirut that's like very French and also restored. Yeah. I don't know what it's like nowadays, unfortunately. Look what I found. Ta-da! I really just want to pick one. I wish they were ripe. The best fruit. Mm. Just growing in the old city. Like, wow. The Caucasus region is one of those places around the world that's so like hard to define, right? And so many people argue about whether it's Europe, is it Asia, is it the Middle East, is it Central Asia, you know? And I think similarly to what we felt when we were in Georgia, the answer is just that it doesn't really fit in anywhere perfectly, you know? It's just its own sort of unique region. And even within this region, everything is so diverse. So the three independent countries that are here are completely different in terms of language, in terms of uh, culture. And so far on this trip, Azerbaijan has felt completely different from what Georgia felt like. Navigating the small winding roads. It's very cozy, right? Quite nice. <laughs> oh, wow. So we're having lunch at the number one vegan restaurant in Baku, and they happen to have mostly local food, which is fantastic. So we're starting out with a red basil lemonade, which I've never heard of red basil before. Oh, oh wow. It really tastes like a basil lemonade. Not red, but it's such a strong basil taste. I mean, I like it, but it's unlike, it's like drinking heavily basil infused water. So we're starting our meal with a shahi döner. I think this is seitan, but it looks like it could almost be falafel. And then a hummus plate with vegetables, nice and healthy. The lula kebabs. They look like falafels also. I'm assembling my own kebab. You got the onion in there, you got the herbs. Yeah, got the sauce. Got my hand covered in sumac or something. Mm, mm, super fresh. Yeah? With the onion and the, I guess, parsley. Really nice. And last but not least, we have our Turkish slash Azerbaijani uh, quesadillas. <laughs> Kuta, which is known as gözleme, I think, in uh, Turkish. So there should be one with greens, one with Say pumpkin. Say and one with pumpkin, yeah. Mm. Okay, we found a new best thing we've had so far in Azerbaijan. This pumpkin kutab is so good. 
my god. I wish I could share it. After a great lunch, we're walking by the waterfront right outside the old town. And my goodness, is it beautiful here. Everything is so pristine, so new, so beautiful. This over here is not an opera house as we initially thought. It's actually a mall. So we're gonna go inside it. I bet no, it's like no. very fancy. Very I didn't know a mall was here. A mall has changed forms. I have a feeling they have spent a few dollars <laughs> building up this waterfront. It's crazy. The amount of things they have here. They have this like mini Venice thing with like boats going around on canals. They have of course the whole like esplanade that you can walk along, the whole like waterfront promenade. Crazy malls. They have all these museums. Like this behind me is the National Carpet Museum and it is actually built in the shape of a rolled up carpet. Like that is pretty extra. Gonna go inside and take cover from the heat. I don't know if you can tell in the video how massive this structure is, but it's like, it's just huge. No Apple Store, Alma Store. I mean, not that we have Apple Store where we live in Sweden either. So they have a VR game zone, they have laser tag, they have go-kart, they have everything here. This is what you get in a place where it's too hot to be outside. Check this out, from the top floor, all the way to the bottom. I so want to do that though, look! <laughs> Just like, what? in the world. I need to go on that slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a... <gasps> oh my god, it's so fast. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so I've decided I'm going through with my plan and I'm taking the slide down. Okay, getting in. Uh, and hold here? No, okay. Cannot hold? Can I put it here? Okay, all right. Was that him? Yeah. Is he okay? Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. I don't think I got anything, but you probably heard me screaming. I've thought so many times that we should start traveling with cat treats to give like the stray cats. When we see this video and we're home, when we're editing, we're gonna think about that and go buy them. We've just been walking along the whole waterfront and it's, I mean, it's so beautiful. But we're approaching the thing that I was probably the most excited to see in all of Baku, which is this beautiful building right here. I was so close to introducing this as the Millennium Dome building. I think Belinda Blinks really left a mark on it. This is Baku Crystal Hall, and it was originally built to host Eurovision in 2012 when our national hero, Lorene, did the cultural reset of Euphoria. Uh. Right here, behind us, history was made. Tyskland automatisk final. För att de är the big five, de bidrar med mest pengar, så de är liksom automatiskt kvalificerade. So the Caspian Sea that we've been walking along this whole time is considered the world's largest uh, lake, and it has a salinity of about one third of uh, your average uh, seawater. Unfortunately, here in Baku, I think it's mostly oil. <laughs> So you have to drive out a bit from the city to get to like the nicer beaches. And originally we were going to do that today, but I don't think we'll have time. Uh, 
The driving here is hilarious and nerve-wracking. Our driver today was much better than last night, but he still decided to reverse on the highway, so we were a bit like... Not only reverse, but also reverse for like a good 40 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> so one thing I think we should say, just so that none of you watching feel like you there's something wrong with you or, or whatever, it is extremely exhausting to walk around a city like this all day, especially in the heat. It really is not relaxing, you know, not something you do on a vacation. You have such little time to explore a big city and you can't just, you know, take it in bite-sized pieces. <music> So we drove up to the top of this uh, mountain or this hilltop above the city. A bunch of different things up here. It's like a big complex. So the first thing is the Martyrs Lane, which uh, lists like all the national heroes or people who died in wars. It's always interesting when it comes to these like national clashes between different nations or countries and hearing about them from the perspective of one of the participating countries, I guess. And after this, we are also going to Armenia. So it's going to be interesting to see it from that perspective. Yeah, this is what travel is all about learning about the world going into it with an open mind an open perspective and just trying to learn as much as possible it gets really hot the closer you get to this We're heading to dinner because we are exhausted. We're going to a very trendy kind of place. So excited to see that side of Baku. April Lin, who as you guys can tell, doesn't always use the biggest words. She's not a woman of bombastic words. <laughs> no, she said that exhausted is so exaggerated. It's clearly just tired. So there you go. No. Just tired, just tired. <laughs> not exhausted. <laughs> exhausted. The world's coming to an end. <laughs> You use it for a dramatic effect, but you, exactly. don't actually, you but you don't actually mean it. Yeah, yeah, but then, yeah, so to me, it's like, it's very dramatized, like, it's just tired. <laughs> you should have heard her reaction to Dan speaking to his American dad yesterday because <laughs> Americans are like the opposite of April. Lynn. She was like, wow, it's so amazing. Just the white uh, vocabulary. The white vocabulary. <laughs> they have a white vocabulary. A white. Wide. <laughs> Starting with these drinks. Look how nice this looks. Watermelon and mint. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Singapore Laksa review by a Singaporean. Yeah, in Azerbaijan. <laughs> in Azerbaijan. In, in Baku. Is it amazing? Mm, really satisfying. The, it is? It's satisfying? It is the most satisfying meal I've ever had. <laughs> really? <laughs> you never ever since, had? Never since we came oh, yeah. So if you got this in Singapore, would you be disappointed or you'd be like, okay, long? Okay. Wow. Okay, okay. Wow. So this day in Baku has been intense. We've loved it though. We've seen so much. We covered a lot of ground, but there was a lot more that I still marked on Google Maps. So I was like, I want to see this, you know? So we haven't had time to see everything. So if you're coming, I would actually suggest doing at least two days because there's a lot to see. And also if you don't want to stress around for a full day like we did. All right, and just like that, our time here in Azerbaijan has come to a close. Today we have a really fun travel day ahead of us with a full day in Tbilisi, Georgia, where we went, I guess that was country 64 something. Or something. It's been a while, yeah. And then we're heading to country 92, which we'll share with you. So thanks for watching, and until we see you in the next video, fly safe. I was just about to say again, but <laughs> see you around, around the world. <laughs> Next time on Oscar and Dan. <laughs> There's a string inside. My name is Alice. Definitely some of the most heavy questioning we've ever had at Immigration Anywhere.